Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about G-Tape and what types of G-Tape are there and what kind of G-Tapes do we use and what, why is there a difference between the G-Tapes just to help clarify a little bit of the confusion that I've gotten some questions on. So if you like what you see or learn a little something about G-Tape today, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when we're putting out new content. All right, so back in the day when i first started using this i had an opportunity the distributor called vandermeer which you can kind of see is in the, on the inside of this tape roll okay vandermeer was a local company and the sales rep knew that i was using a lot of waterproof membrane tapes to seal the tops of my joists and flat blocking i was doing a lot of unique installs and i had to protect the frame and i'll get into that in a little bit and he came to me with this new tape uh, he said, hey man, we are just getting ready to launch this stuff and I want you to use it. I was like, well, bring it out and I'll test it and then I'll let you know if we'll use it or not. And we were happened to be shooting a television show at the time. And it was a pilot episode of a television show that aired nationally on the DIY network. You know, to save a couple hundred dollars in G-tape, man, or in tape, waterproof membrane tape. I was like, sure, bring it out. So he brought it out. And this is what he brought, was some 4-inch and some 12-inch. This is called 3040. This is a waterproof membrane tape that has an acrylic backing. Um, it has a paper backer on it as well. Okay, so this stuff is kind of cool, though, because you can rip it. And if it sticks to itself, because it's acrylic, you can actually pull it apart. It still sticks really good, but you can actually pull it apart. On other um, asphalt-based membrane tapes, when you do this, you're throwing that piece away. If the wind blows and it, it just goes like this, if it just barely does that, you're done. You throw that piece away because uh, you're not going to get it apart. If you do, you're lucky, but it usually doesn't happen. If you get a little corner or something that you don't like, you can just rip it off. No big deal. Okay, so this stuff is really sticky. It's really hard to apply if you're wearing gloves. So we always take our gloves off even in the dead of winter, cold, whatever. We know that we kind of need to use our fingers because it is, it is pretty sticky. All right. So the reason why we use so much of this stuff, it's, it's considered joist protection. So let's just say this is your frame. This is your joist. When we, when we tear out decks, the first thing that rots is like if your decking's running like this on this board, the first thing that rots is the gap in between your deck boards. It's where all the sediment, we have a lot of pine trees here. Now this might vary from parts of the country, parts of the world, whatever, topography, elevations, all that stuff. But in the Pacific Northwest, where there is a lot of pine needles, all that stuff sits in between the deck boards and it sits on top of this pressure treated hemlock and it starts to fester and decay and rot. And then it creates moss and mildew and then it like stains the side of the board. And pretty soon it's just gonna decompose right there and it's gonna start decomposing your frame. So if you take some waterproof membrane tape, all right, and you lay it out, and I wouldn't use a, normally a piece of four inch. They're, they make two inch. So let's go over the sizes really quick. In 3040, they have two, four, six, nine, and 12 inch rolls, okay? And that's what I'm showing you right now. This is the OG tape that we've used for four or five years. I was the first person in the United States and Canada to use G-Tape and apply it. And I have proof of that from uh, the videos in 2016 when we put it on national television and nobody knew what it was. So there you go. So what happens now between these two deck boards that are sitting here, this gives a protective barrier between your decking and your framing and in between the gaps. The most thing, the one thing I'm um, most concerned about are the gaps, okay? When I'm talking about joist protection. Okay, there's also a lot of times where we run flat blocking, okay? When we run flat blocking, we have to protect not only that flat block, but any place that water would permeate. Like, let's say we have a flat block and we have a joist here and a joist here. I want to tape the whole top side of that. And usually I would use some six inch of 3040. And you can apply this a couple different ways. Usually I used to make a lot of signs with my brother. He used to have a sign company. I would come over and I would help him 
with, with signage. So I got really good at applying vinyls and adhesives and things like that. So I can just use my hands. Some guys use a trowel or a roller or um, a squeegee to apply their tape. And those are all great methods to keep a bubble-free top. What's cool about this G-Tape, let's say I didn't like the way this was down. I can actually peel this back if I really want to. Okay, and you're gonna notice there's gonna be a little bit of treatment on this tape. Okay, see that? You can see the incisions right on the inside of the acrylic. That's how quickly it will adhere to pressure treated or lumber in general, okay? So uh, it's still sticky enough to reapply. So like, let's just say you totally beef that. Oh man, I didn't do it right. I didn't install it right. So what? Pull it up and do it again. Straighten it out. So your error for margin is greater. Now, you're not going to take a 12-inch wide piece of G-Tape and be able to perfectly apply it every time. You can get wrinkles in it. But the more you practice, the better off you're going to get with it. What will happen after 72 hours, this tape will actually adhere to this lumber. And you'll actually be able to see these incisions drawing through. You can kind of see them right now. They're already starting to draw through and the tape's actually adhering to the, the timber. Okay, so, but what you don't wanna do, if you G-tape something like this and then you put another member against it, you gotta, you gotta cover that seam. That's where the water is gonna permeate and that's where the damage is gonna happen. All right? So basically, that's the story on 3040. Okay? All right, good job, guys. Way to stay with it. So now, this is new. This is called 3035. What's the difference? Well, 3040, has a backing paper on it. 3035 does not. It's more like a traditional roll of tape where it's just self back to itself. And why would you want this? Well, it condenses a little bit better. We notice that in our trailer. If you're really tight on space, it packs a little bit better. You don't have as much paper waste because as you start stripping 12, 20, 30 feet of this, you end up with all this paper, paper extract and you have to do something with that. So you're, you know, you're creating piles and piles. We fill garbage sacks full of that backer tape or the backer of the tape. But the coolest part about 3035 is you can take one of these. This one's broken, but it still works. This is a tape gun at, from Amazon. You can get it at any packing supply house or, or office supply. I bought two inch ones and four inch ones. So 3035 only comes in two widths. It comes in a two inch roll and a four inch roll. All right, but what's cool about this, let's say you got 30 joists to lay out. It's that quick. And you can just lay this, lay it down and then smooth it out. Now, usually when I start smoothing a lot of sides, if I have a lot of edges to smooth out, I am gonna put my gloves on after the tape's applied because I've gotten several splinters just running your hands back and forth on the joist. So, you know, it's not a bad idea to get a nice pair of gloves that you can apply tape with, um, maybe at least after you get a, it stretched and, and tacked in and maybe smoothed on top, but before you start doing all the edges, I've done it both ways. I've gotten lucky before and I've also paid the price. But this is several times quicker than unrolling paper backed because they make a two inch in the 3040, which is paper backed, but they also make this two inch in a 3035, which is like Speedy Gonzalez compared to uh, uh, Slowpoke Rodriguez, if you know what I'm saying. So those are the two main differences. The, the last roll of tape, you'll notice that the inside of this roll looks a little different than the 3040 does, okay? And that's how you tell the difference. What this product is, this is a EPDM compatible tape that we use when we do our waterproof bladders. This is called 3045. It's a little bit thicker than 3040. It is paper backed and it comes in two, four, six, nine, and 12 inch widths. It smells a little bit different. You'll notice sometimes when you're using G-Tape, it has a specific odor, but it's not really offensive. It's just kind of, well, it smells weird. But the, cool, the thing that I like about this, this stuff has a really good super tack to it. And it's a little bit thicker. So if you're trying to do waterproofing, it works really well. But what I'm gonna do is I just have a really too large piece of EPDM pond liner here, right? So I'm just gonna cut a piece off, all right? And what we do with this stuff is we use it for uh, waterproofing our decks, 
And if you follow us on social media, you probably already knew that. All right. But what it's good for is like, let's say you have a seam right here, or even if you're overlapping seams, the first thing is the palm liner has a little bit of a silver coating on it. So I kind of like to wipe that down whenever possible before we actually apply the tape. So now that that seam's done, I'll take some 3045, okay? And then let's just say this is over the top of a frame of a joist or something. We've got our overlap, we've already caulked this, we've stapled it down, and now our final layer of protection is gonna take this and go right over the top of it. And it has the same inherent properties like, oh, if you mess up or you put a little bit of a wrinkle in it, you can still pull it back. Now 30, 3045, it it does peel back kind of easy, but it's still it's already starting to stick. Okay, so if, if it's wet out though, it's not gonna stick. You're gonna have to staple it or something to make it in, to make it tight. The, the reason they came out with this is because I was talking to the chemist at G-Tape and I'm like, yeah, man, we do a lot of EPD on pond liners and we want something that we can put on top to protect all of this. And they wanted to make sure that the chemical compound was compatible with the EPDM. It was that important to them that they came out with this EPDM tape. So, and I really like it. I don't have a problem using 3045 over any other type of tape. Um, sometimes when I'm doing a lot of bladder work, I might still run 3045 in other sections of the deck. Now that this has uh, been installed, I can pull on this pretty hard and you can see how well it sticks now obviously if i pull this way it's going to peel right off well it's still got some tack to it and you can kind of see the line it left right here right and you can kind of see even in the seam when i start pulling away you can kind of see the the fiber or the the acrylic really wanting to stick or adhesive whatever whatever it is that these guys are putting on this stuff works pretty good so, and you again can reapply it, stick it down. We haven't had any issues with using this tape compatibility wise with the EPDM pond liner or the decking products. It's a great product and we really like it. Okay, so there's one more tape that I wanna to talk to you about that G-Tape makes. Now G-Tape makes, G-Tape is owned by Mitsubishi. The subtitle is Nichigo and they have several different lines of tape. Uh, this is also one that we got our hands on that we use quite a bit of. So this green tape, it's called 1009 GR. And this is more like a painter's tape that you get at the home centers, like the blue tape or the frog tape or whatever. I use this a lot when I'm caulking up a house, when we're we're trying to leave some fine lines where we don't are trying not to leave such a mess with our caulk. And basically it comes in a roll as well. I think it's 65 feet. It's, it's easy to tear and edit and rip. And I'm doing that a lot. And I might be trying to work around an angle or something like that, you know. And this stuff doesn't tack as hard. It doesn't tack up as hard as the, the um, 3040 series or 3035s. It's not meant for waterproof or for UV protection. That the, the 30 series, the 3040s and the 3030s, these tapes are heavy duty. They are built for UV protection. They will protect for a very long time. Where this is not meant for that. This is more of a disposable tape that you're gonna use like a mask. But it, it works, it's pretty good for workability. I, I've done some great stuff with it. Um, just, just tearing it apart and doing little detail work around gutters and door jams and things like that, where you got all these funky curves and, or circles or whatever. So, um, and then the cool thing is once you're done detailing it with your caulk or whatever, then you just peel it up, it all comes off. It doesn't really stick to your hands too much. You can roll it up and, you know what I'm saying? So basically those are the differences. Those are the types of G tapes we use. We also have a safety tape that we've used before where we block off doors with. So that's a pretty cool product as well. If you want more information about G tape, either leave a question below or uh, contact us on our Instagram channel and I'll give you the representative's direct handle that you can contact him for samples. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you liked it or you learned something about G-Tape today, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out fresh content. Don't forget to comment below and please don't forget to like our videos as well. It really helps us with our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.